Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to use, configure and use Creepy. Creepy is a geolocation scene tool written in Python that offers geolocation information gathering through social networking platforms. Uh, you can download Creepy from geocreepy.com. You can find Windows installers there and the source code in Python. Soon there's going to be a version uh, for Debian based uh, Linux distributions. And uh, but until that time, you can you can run Creepy from the source code. You can download the tar archive from geocreepy.com or from GitHub directly, and uh, just expand the, the archive to your home folder. Then you can run Creepy by running the main the main Python script, uh, which is called creepy main.py. So this is how Creepy uh, looks like. How the interface looks like. Uh, first thing you need to do, uh, and this is something that changed in Creepy uh, 1.0, is that every information source, so every uh, social networking platform or image hosting service, is now defined as a plugin in uh, in Creepy. So first thing you need to do is that you need to configure the plugins uh, that you have available in your Creepy installation. Uh, this version of Creepy ships with three plugins, a uh, plugin for Flickr, a plugin for Instagram and one for Twitter. And uh, the Flickr plugin, as you can see here, uh, is already pre-configured, does not need any specific configuration. You can test that the plugin configuration works by hitting this button here. You can see that the Flickr plugin is correctly configured. Then we'll, let's go and see uh, Instagram plugin. Uh, you will need to configure your Instagram plugin by running the configuration wizard. So it pops up, it, pop up, it pops up a window that says, please copy the following link to your browser window. So we'll just copy paste this link, open your browser and paste that link there. It will prompt you to log in with Instagram. So we'll just do that. If you see here in the instructions, it says that once you authenticate with Instagram, you will be redirected to a link that looks like this one. And that's what happens here. So server not found because that's not a live site. It's just uh, a ma minor manual step that we need to do in order to capture this code that we basically need for completing the uh, authorization process. So just copy paste this link from your browser to the field here and click finish. So the plugin configuration dialog will uh, will be redrawn and then you can see that your Instagram plugin is now configured. You have your access token here. You can just go ahead and test your plugin configuration. You can see that Instagram plugin is correctly configured now. Next we're gonna configure Twitter plugin. It has a bit more streamlined configuration wizard. No manual copy pasting needed whatsoever. So just hit next on the first page and then you would have to authorize Creepy to use your Twitter account so it can read tweets from your timeline and see who you follow. So just go ahead and enter your credentials. Click on authorize app. You will be provided with a pin from Twitter. Just copy paste that to the field below. Click on finish. And now you can see that the Twitter plugin is configured. You can test that by clicking the test plugin configuration. You will get a message saying the Twitter plugin is correctly configured. Click OK to save your settings. Now you're basically ready to use Creepy. So now that you, ha now that you have Creepy configured and the plugin is enabled, you can start by creating a new project and specifying the targets that you want to uh, geolocate using Creepy. You can start a new project by clicking the button here, it's called Person Based Project. Or you can add the project name, keywords and description for your project. The only necessary field is a project name. So I'm going to create a project based on my accounts for the purposes of that demo. So we just need to specify a search term and then identify the plugins in which you want to Creepy to search for the select target. So we're going to search for Instagram and Twitter here. And as you can see, 
it's found out that I have a Twitter account and an Instagram account that uh, I need to now add to the select targets by either selecting it and hitting the add to targets button or I just drag and drop to the selected targets table. Now I want to search for my clicker plugin where I use another username. search again. You can see it found that I have a Flickr account and we can add that to the selected ones. So now that we have all the selected targets that we need, we can hit next and we get to see our uh, plugin configure search options. So Twitter has, uh, you can select the options to include the tweets of the user account in the search or not. Usually you don't need to do that because even if those, tweet, those tweets contain geolocation information then uh, it would probably not be uh, created by the user itself but by the person that uh, your target account retweets. Flickr plugin does not offer any search options for the same thing for, for the Instagram plugin. Just hit on next and finish. You can see your project here. Now that the project is just created and you need to run the analysis on it. So just select it here and click the button that says analyze current project or just right click on it and select the analyze current project from the menu there. Just hit the, the button there. You can see that uh, the project is being analyzed. And uh, this can take uh, from a few seconds up to a few minutes, depending on how much information the user has on the specific enabled plugins and how many plugins were part of the target project. So depending on how many tweets the user has in his Twitter account or how many uploaded pictures on Flickr or on his Instagram account, that might take a while. It usually takes a few minutes to retrieve all the information. So you can see that project analysis is complete and that's the results that you get from my from my account. And let's just zoom out to see a better view of it. So on the right side you see a location list which contains all the locations that uh, Krivi was able to uh, retrieve from the available plugins. You can get the date and the location name if there's any. Um, you can see some of those has uh, some of those have unavailable as a location name, some of those have a location name and just some of those are empty. And for each one of the locations in the location list when you click on it you'll get some current location details on the bottom just date the plugin that this location was retrieved from and context which depending on the plugin uh, can be either the tweet that the user tweeted from, from that specific location or the caption of the picture in Instagram or the title of the clicker image. Uh, both uh, those uh, windows here are dockable so you can just uh, move them around or just disable them entirely. So just move on here and see some of the retrieved locations. You can see there was a lot over a certain period in New York. Um, you can by clicking on each of the markers you get a pop-up window uh, that says uh, it was retrieved from Instagram, the caption of the image, the link to the original image if you want to check it on Instagram, and the timestamp that the picture was taken on. Same thing for these ones here. By double clicking on location uh, in the location list, you can also zoom in on the map that specific location. So that's a, you can zoom in here, or just click another one to get zoomed on the place in the map that the target was found at that specific date and time. So now that you have your project 
analyzed, there's a, num a number of filters that you can apply on the retrieved locations. And you can find the filters here that the filter um, buttons. So you can filter the, the retrieved locations from a project based on a date range. You can filter them based on their distance from a given point on a map. And you can also have a view of a heat map instead of markers on uh, on the map. That's generally useful when you have a target with many with many retrieved locations. So you can see uh, I'm gonna get a quick view of where the user normally uh, uh, hangs out or is found. Hit that again, and uh, you can filter locations by date. You set the start date and the end date. So let's filter them based on uh, date from September the 9th, 2013, to December 15, 2013. Click OK. You get the location list gets refreshed and you only get those locations that were found in uh, the specified date range. Uh, you can use the button here to remove all filters and reload the original uh, list of locations. You can also filter based on map, so I'll just filter all the New York locations that were retrieved. You can just go here just right click on the map and get uh, the location its coordinates and set uh, a radius of let's say 15 kilometers from the point of interest and then you click OK and your the locations are filtered based on the distance from the identified point of interest as you can see you can only see the New York locations here nothing else on the map and here on the list too Let's just go ahead and remove all the filters. Another thing that you can do with uh, selected locations is to export the locations as a separated value file or as a KML file that you can open with uh, uh, Google Earth. And you can either select to export all the project locations or the currently filtered locations. So if you apply a filter and then you can just export the filter locations that uh, are of interest to you or you can just export all of the locations here as CSV or game or KML. So another thing to remember is that you can use the map part of Creepy's uh, interface as you would normally use your Google Maps on the browser. So you can go into satellite view or when you identify a specific location you just can uh, go zoom, zoom in on that and just enable street view that you can go in and see exactly where your target was at a specific time and do uh, all kinds of reconnaissance or information gathering for a specific location. And when finished, you can just click the button here that says Exit Street View. You go back to the map with the results. Um, a way of keeping Creepy updated. Uh, this, this is especially uh, helpful for Windows users since uh, hopefully the, um, the Debian packages will be ready soon so they will get automatically updated through your distribution's packet manager. But for Windows users, you can check for updates uh, by using the menu entry here. So you can see that you're running Creepy 1.1, that's the currently uh, available version also. The Creepy, oh, it's up to date, so you don't need to do anything about that. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions or how to use Creepy or how to install Creepy, just open an issue in GitHub. You can also do that from here, just click report the problem bug and it will open your browser um, to the repositories uh, issues so you can open a new issue just feel free to send me a mail or hit me on, on Twitter
So thanks for watching.